YouTube. Welcome to the Keep Living channel. I am the KL Rider. So let's get into this video. Um, just wanted to bring you guys a uh, product. It's a uh, helmet. And this is a helmet that I've been wanting to get for um, a long time now. So <clears throat> I'm a big fan of uh, the company Scorpion. You know, naturally, there's a lot of great helmets out there. You got Shoei, you got a Riot, you got HJC. Um, you got a whole bunch of, you know, different um, brands out there. ILM, you got Hacks Helmets, you got um, Akea. Like, there's a whole bunch of, you know, brands. But for me, I pretty much like uh, the Scorpion helmet. So, um, this is the XO T520 and i got it in the matte red uh color so it's like two different types of reds like a dark red and mixed with a lighter color red kind of like gradient almost um i think this is freaking awesome i'll just turn it to the side here get a look at the graphics take a look Got that Scorpion logo. Scorpion XO right there. Wonderful. Oh, this is hot. Take a look at the rear. Dope. And as you can see, it's a DOT. ECE rated which is nice. I don't know how much that can focus if you can see it. Um, yeah. This is the right side. Let's get a logo on the right side. So as you can see the color, you see how the color kind of, you know, it's a dark red with a lighter red. And this is kind of cool because it matches the tire um, of my, uh, my Yamaha R3 which is uh, great. Um, and, sorry for the reflection, but, and this is the front, front of the helmet. It's pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. So, this helmet is supposed to be um, a lightweight, um, but tough kind of low profile helmet that is really perfect for street riding. And if you're a commuter like myself or on long distances, or if you're a tourer or something like that. So um, this helmet was kind of made for that, um, that genre of riding. Let's spin it around a little bit more, some more details. Nice, very nice, very nice. So it, it has like this really aggressive aerodynamic shape. So this is supposed to help reduce drag and lift, you know, while you're at high speeds, you know, especially if you're on the highway. So you won't feel your head dragging or if you move your head to like the left or the side, you know, if your helmet is like, you know, too loose, or if it's not really aerodynamic, you're gonna feel like a pull, you know, um, from the wind on your head. So this is supposed to pretty much eliminate that um, totally, uh, which is also, um, it also has this, let's see if you can see in the inside, there's this, can you see this? It has an air inflation system so this, this button right here, um, this is the air inflation system. So you can customize how tight you want the helmet to be. Let's say like if you're in between, you know, sizes. So I wear a size uh, large. So I got this in large, um, but you know, you have, you know, medium, you know, you have extra small, small, you have medium, you have large, extra large, you know, and so on. So 
but sometimes your head size can you know fall you know in between sizes so this little get this pump out of the way this this pump system you pump you pump this up and it's supposed to inflate you know the cheap pack the cheap pads you know around you know around the helmet so that's going to help it you know you know flatten everything against your face you know a lot more so it really you know, it really have a really good you know tight tight fit around there um that's pretty awesome i don't know if you guys remember you know back in the days the reeboks the reebok pumps where you had like this pump system on the tongue when you squeeze tss, 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 you know on the tongue which is you know i don't know if it was a gimmick or whatever the case is but you know a lot of people you know liked it you know you know paid for it um i don't think this is a gimmick on the helmet i actually think this is something that could actually work so like i said if you like in between sizes you know that'll help you know inflate the cheap pads so you can have you know a much better you know and tighter you know tighter fit um uh, this also this helmet also has like a, a dual homologated advanced like carbonate shell so it's supposed to provide you know a lot of displacement energy you know for protection you know in case you get into a you know a crash you know that's something we never want to think about but you know if you happen to get into a crash with this helmet you know it's supposed to you know distribute the energy you know across the helmet where it's going to protect your head you know really you know really good um just look in the inside i don't know if you can see the inside it's kind of dark in here but it's very cushiony in here let me see if i can get a uh, flashlight See, get a flashlight in there. So yeah, if you look in the inside, I don't know if you can see, but you know, this is pretty much you know what it looks like you know, on the inside. Very nice, you know. The EPS, you know, is pretty much under the foam here. Um, this is it's very soft, like this very cushiony and soft and soft in here uh, which is pretty nice so this is a super duper extremely comfortable helmet like this helmet is really comfortable like it's probably the most comfortable helmet that i wore so um i had the uh the scorpion um Uh, R20, I think that's what it was, and it was nice, um, it didn't have the sun shield, so this one has a sun shield as well, so it has a drop down sun shield, you see the sun shield right here, and the lever is literally right on the side, so it's very thick, it's very actuated, like you can feel it. I don't think there's going to be no problems with actuating this with your gloves, uh, which is cool. I like that. I don't wear sunglasses, so I don't wear sunglasses or glasses, you know, my helmet. So, and I'm out here in uh, South Florida, so the sun can be beaming, you know, for sure. So having these flip down shades is going to make a world, a world of a difference uh, with help blocking the sun. Um, while I'm riding in the street, so definitely an awesome feature. Um, another unique feature is, so you have the tab. The tab is on the front, so this is the tab that you pull up and down on your helmet. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that sometimes the tabs is literally on either side, so it can be on this side or it can be on this side. And I like the fact that they actually put the tab right in the middle of the helmet so no matter which hand you're using you can use the opposite hand to get you know to get your your helmet up so you can use either hand it doesn't matter which hand so if you're on the throttle you know you can use you know your clutch hand if you're on the clutch you can use your throttle hand you don't have to reach all the way over you know to the other side it's smack right in the middle uh which is awesome um 
it has a couple of detents so this is in the the lock position so it's in the lock position so let's test to see how many times it goes up so let's do so we have one so a lot of people like this position right here because this helps with airflow you know especially if you're in the colder temperatures you know it's um it's going to help with helping to defog and demystify you know demystify your um your lens you know while you're riding so it's just a, a way to get a little bit of extra air in there so that was the first one let's go up so we have two three four four five six seven so it looks like it goes like seven times it's like seven detents so i got one two they kind of fall in between by you know by twos um so you gotta be very light you know light-handed with it if you want to get each individual one you know clicking at a time but nonetheless it's cool that it actually stays in certain positions um if you want to keep it up like this naturally you can keep it up all the way in case you want to use the sun shield and you know like i said you know you bring it all the way down you know in case you just want a little bit little bit of air so <clears throat> ventilation wise uh, let's pull this back up sunglasses so nice. ventilation wise you have like this really cool vent system in the front you know for your mouth area and it's funny you know it has the nose guard here which i think is really cool it has the um scorpion symbol on it um i used to always take these off um just for aesthetic reasons but i realized it's probably a good idea to keep this on is because this is going to help with your breath you know like i said for you know cold weather situations or you know when it's humid outside you know you can fog up your lens so this is supposed to help negate some of that fogging um of your lens um you know while you're breathing through your nose and your mouth so i'm definitely going to keep that on um this time this go around so and it actually looks nice you know it has that you know like i said it has the scorpion you know symbol on there it's pretty cool pretty cool i like that your vent system so this is your vent system so it's all the way up you have a vent here you have a vent here and a vent here so when you pull this down it goes down once goes down once so as you can see the vent came open halfway and then it goes down a second time which is all the way now so if you can see it's open all you know all the way so if i click up once once it's halfway and then if i click up again it's all the way so that's pretty cool you have two you know two different you know sections um to use so you can have it all the way up or all the way down or you know kind of in between so i like that it's pretty cool pretty cool um it also has the d-ring system so a lot of people don't like the D-ring the system because it takes a little bit longer to, you know, attach, you know, attach your helmet. Um, but I think this is the safest. I had, I had helmets, you know, with the ratchet system where you just take the, the strap and it goes into like, you know, a ratchet system and it clicks in. I like those because it's very easy, but um and i'll be honest i was in a crash before and the helmet didn't come loose like my, my helmet stayed on my head but i do recall i had it ratcheted three times and when i took off my helmet it was only on the very first ratchet so it did disconnect you know during you know during my accident um so if I probably had it on just one connection or one ratchet, the helmet probably would have came off and that would have been, 
you know, a really, really bad day for me. So I'm going back to the D-rings. The D-rings is a little bit more secure. Um, it's gonna, you're gonna tighten it as much as you can around your chin, and this thing won't be coming, coming loose, you know, at all. So, um, I like the D-ring system. It takes, yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but, you know, for safety measures, I think this is gonna be the way I go, you know, in, in the future. So, it also has, um, this emergency pull tabs. Uh, right here so again you know in case you're in an accident you can pull you can just pull these right here and then it'll literally pull the cheek pads out so if EMT or the firefighters have to get to you and you're laying on your back or whatever the case is all they got to do is take their fingers and take this pull the helmet this is going to release you know the cheek pads you know all for both sides and then your helmet should be a whole lot easier, you know, to get off. So, you know, Scorpion thought of a lot of, you know, features for this particular helmet. And the one thing I like is the safety features, you know, of this helmet. You know, the D-ring, you know, the EPS system in, in the inside. It's very cushiony in the inside, very soft. Has like a dry wicking, you know, material. So... You know, normally I don't get, you know, you sweat or whatever the case is, but the sweat tends to go away. It doesn't smell bad. You know, naturally you can take these off, you know, and, and wash them, you know, when you get the chance. So, um, but I'm not going to take these out because as everybody knows, it can be a pain in the neck, you know, to put these things, you know, back in. So, um, yeah, this is, this is the helmet. This is. This is the Scorpion XO uh, T520. Um, awesome, you know, awesome helmet. Let me just turn it to the sides. You guys can get a better look at it. You know, get a nice look at this thing. This is a very, very nice looking helmet. This helmet looks awesome, like. I don't know how much justice is doing on camera, but in person, this is a, a very nice looking helmet. And it looks, you know, it looks, you know, futuristic. It has like this, you know, futuristic, you know, look, you know, to it. One other thing I forgot to mention is the vent system. So a lot of helmets usually comes with two vents. They'll have one vent on the left side and another vent on, on the right side. But this one is very unique. So it's a very unique venting system. Um, as you can see, the vent is very large, but there's two separate, there's two separate ones you know here so it has a divider in the middle so it's the same thing as the chin vent um it has two you know one this is all the way down um halfway click which is half open and then another click to push it back to have it you know all the way open you're not going to be able to see let's see if we can. yeah you're not going to be able to see exactly in there because it's, it's kind of thin but but just know it clicks, you know, two times. So you're definitely going to get a lot of airflow. Um, same with the back. You normally have like two vents, you know, on the, on, the, on the sides in the back. But this one has a very large vent in the back area right here. So, you know, you're going to, you know, be nice and cool, you know, on your ride with the air dissipating, you know, through the back. And as you can see, this very aerodynamic, like it's super like aerodynamic but you can just look at the wind like you know just going over you know and you don't have to have worry about your head you know being jerked around by the wind or anything like that you know granted of course you got to get the proper size you know so make sure you get some measuring tape and measure your helmet so 
all helmet companies are different even though you know not every medium is the same medium for every company so this is the reason why i like scorpions because i'm already used to what their helmet sizes is going to be so i know if i order the large i'm going to get the right you know the right fit so i won't be ordering the large and the next thing you know it's a medium a really a, a size medium because they make them smaller because it's a different company so um this is just the brand that i like like i said there's other great wonderful brands out there but this is you know scorpion is a you know definitely a top tier brand and you know it's also cost cost efficient not going to break the bank you know it's um you know 230 dollars you know dot you know ece rated you know for protection you know you can't go wrong you know you definitely can't go wrong so um let me know what you guys think you know what helmet do you have are you thinking about picking this up um i'm gonna take it out for a ride for like a week or two and um see how it goes see how i like it you know test the functions but once again this is the scorpion xo t520 so another feature is the exocom system that basically you can put speakers um both in your left and right side ears this is the uh compartment right here where your, your speakers go through at and you're supposed to you know take off the cheek pads you know line up the wires through the cheek pads bring them all around and the speaker system goes you know goes in it goes in the inside in, in the cheek pads in here um i'm not going to take it off because i don't think i'm going to be using the ex um that that particular system um i don't want that uh in my ears um as of right now um and then the battery pack is literally back here so this tab right here this tab right here is for the battery you know you pull this up and then the battery the battery pack actually comes out so that's the um <clears throat> the exo they call it the exocom system and it's you know bluetooth you can listen to music you know someone else can have the same exact system in their particular helmet and then you guys can communicate with each other so um yeah man nice <laughs>